Camden Off Menu IPA. to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I was mostly about in Sainsbury's the other day, I haven't been there for a while, checking out their beers. I have to say, Sainsbury's, it ain't great. The craft beer section is not that great, it's nothing like Morrison's and um, even Aldi are better, so sort that out. Anyway, what they did have was some of this stuff, this is new from Camden, this is the off-menu IPA. Um, obviously, I've reviewed Camden Town Brewery stuff before, and they've been pretty good from what I've tried. The, the Lager, the Lager Hell, um, the other IPAs, the Pale Ale, they've not been bad. This one, uh, I'm not sure what they're sort of talking about on this. I know they put the usual dump from the back, but our ideal IPA wasn't on the menu. So we made it. Right, okay. Resisting piling up a variety of hops like toppings on a burger, we held the pickles and did things our way. Sandwiching together light malts, clear Cali ale yeast and early harvest Simcoe hops. Just whatever the, the brewer ordered. So basically they've come up with a new beer. That's what they're trying to say. But that's a minor gripe because what I really like about Camden is they put everything on the back of the can, what's in there. So, as they say, they've got pills and malts, they've got extra pale, they've got wheat, aromatic, sorry, they've got wheat, they've got aromatic and cara. So there's a hell of a lot of malt gone into that. And the yeast is California ale yeast, which they've used before um, on some of the IPAs, which have been really good, I have to say. And the kettle hops are CTZ and Simcoe. The Whirlpool hops are Simcoe. The Whirlpool is, um, it's basically, the, the kettle hops are the boil, where you boil the um, the wool, I think it's called. You boil that up, then you have the Whirlpool, which sort of mixes it, and then the dry hops, which are thrown in after all that. They give it the aroma. They're Simcoe um, and Simcoe Cryo. Simcoe Cryo, I imagine, are pellets. The Cryo meaning they're freeze, so they're probably freeze dried. That's what I'm assuming. But there's a lot of Simcoe in here. The Simcoe is used all throughout this. And uh, <clears throat> and it looks quite interesting. The um, the bittering units on here, I don't, f oh, there, is it? No, it hasn't, no. No, it hasn't got the bittering units on it, which is a shame. But it's a free 30 mil can, it's 5.8% in the volume. It says to drink cold. I am drinking this cold, this has been in the fridge. What are we getting on the nose? Aromatic hop and malt. It smells really nice. It's more reminiscent of an English pale ale. Sorry, an English, an English IPA I should say, not an English pale ale, an English IPA, which is interesting. Somebody gave me a glass the other day, it's an Iinga glass. And uh, I'm gonna test this out. I don't know what it's like for, for drinking beer in. But let's get this into the glass and see how it goes. This is more like a wine glass, to be honest. But let's see what's going on. That's hazy. It's a hazy golden color. And it looks really nice. There's a fair bit of carbonation in there. Very small bubbles, again, which is good. This doesn't. This glass says 330 mil. It doesn't really hold 330 mil, so I don't think I'll be using this unless I'm drinking really small amounts of beer. Yeah, again on the nose, sweet malt, and them hops, them Simcoe hops. It does smell nice. Let's give it a go.
Mmm. Yeah, this is not bad. As I say, God, the malt at the back end. That's a bit delayed. You get a nice biscuit malt finish on that. And it's nice. And it does remind me of the um, the English style IPA, which again, I really like. It reminds me a little bit of Bengal Lancer. A little bit more hoppy. But it reminds me, because that Bengal Lancer <clears throat> has got them really good biscuit malts on the end of it. And this has got that as well. And of course it's using lager yeast. Californian lager yeast. Oh sorry, Californian ale yeast, not lager yeast, what am I talking about? Uh, the hops, uh, uh, Pilsner hops, etc. Which are you know, they are winning, they are a winning combination. But I really like this. Mm. Very clean, clean and crisp. Reminiscent of a lager. And of course you've got them biscuity malts on the end which give it, which give it a lager feel to it as well. But then you get the hops all the way through it and the balance is pretty good and that's a really good IPA and I like it and I am going to give that eight and a half no I'm not I'm going to give that a nine out of ten I'm giving it a nine out of ten I do like this and I could probably drink a lot of it I've heard that they do this on draft in in the Fuller's pubs uh, they've got some agreement with Fuller's that the Fuller's pubs are now selling some Camden stuff and they've got this. So I may have to check this out next time I'm in a Fuller's pub. Mm, really good. Well done, Camden. That is a winner. I really like that. 9 out of 10, recommended. And that'll probably be the last you see of this glass. It ain't the greatest. And remember... Beer is working class champagne.